Alrighty, see what's happening. I'm here at the range today with the new Core Essentials Battle Belt. Uh, about to throw this baby on. I want to do a side by side comparison of my current battle belt. But just to show you how it kind of had to load it out, I've got the Safari Link EOS system with my T Rex Arms Ragnarok holster and my Glock 19X. Um, got some high speed tactical, I believe is the brand. Mag pouches, a Mako AR-15 mag pouch, and then a T-Rex Arms uh, med pouch. So, and, and side by side, looking at these belts, this is the blue alpha gear that I've been on for a while. Um, the QLS off of that. I've got the SDAC Kiwis on here, um, and a, oh man, Live the Creed, <laughs> I can't think of the name of it, uh, med pouch. But the belts themselves are similar in, in, I mean, I would say that the, in rigidity, that the, uh, the core essential is a little bit more rigid. Uh, this is a Cobra. This the biggest difference is they both use an inner belt system with Velcro. So you can see the Velcro inside of here, and you can see the Velcro inside of here. The inner belt systems are pretty similar, not too much difference there. The big difference here is this is a Cobra buckle, and you have a little bit of adjustability there. Where this is so awesome is you have micro adjustments with the track line that they do on all their belts. You can see right in here, you can see the track line there. Um, and that's how you adjust this. You can have a, a lot of tighter, not necessarily tighter fit, just a better fit. Like overall, you have more adjustability in the belt. So I'm gonna run a couple pistol drills here. Uh, I got a little bit more time on the range today. I'm also gonna run this uh, this weekend at a range day. So you may see some footage from that as well. Stay tuned. All right, what's going on YouTube? We are going to show you how to uh, cut the Core Essentials Battle Belt properly. It's really easy, actually. They give you the Battle Belt, an inner and outer belt, and then they uh, give you the instructions here. It's really nice, isn't it? You basically line this up with the very tip here. The belt's very rigid, so it's kind of hard to keep it on there. Um, just make sure that's lined up. And as you can see, there's a bunch of numbers on here. So what you're gonna do is line that up. Put I would even, you know what I might even do is grab some tape or something and tape it on. That's what I'm gonna do. Nice little tip there. I'm gonna hold that help hold on. Okay guys, what I've done is I've taped both ends. So I just did a little packing tape on the very end there and the packing tape on the very end there. That way it just stays in place, make it easier to cut. Then you're going to take a very sharp pair of scissors and cut. I would even, I'm going to smooth this out a little bit more. Use my shoulder in the way. Because it should be exactly 48 inches long when I go bump in the tripod. Um, yep, so it's all taped on there. So you're going to need a pair of very sharp scissors. I'm using Raptor, uh, the Leatherman Raptors. These are EMT shears because they're super, super sharp. They'll cut through pennies. And you're cutting through a pretty thick cardboard, um, not cardboard, uh, belt material here. I'm not sure. Yeah, even these EMT shears are having, are struggling a bit cutting through this. Holy cow. Yeah, so when you cut this, Make sure your scissors are super sharp. Um, I'm about halfway through on that side. What I'm gonna do is flip it around. I've already started my cut, so my tape came off one side. I mean, it's a very thick belt. You have material on both sides, so I'm just gonna continue to cut here. You can always um, level it off. Okay, there you go. So I cut my belt, 48 inch belt. That's where I cut it. I'm just gonna test it around my belt. Oh yeah. I have my 34, I said 48. <laughs> it's a 48 inch total. So if you're a 40 inch waist, you're, you're good to go. Um, but I cut mine at 34. So now, second step is to take the inner belt and cut it about an inch shorter the instructions here it says 
remove uh, lay inner belt over cut battle belt subtract one inch and cut inside opposite cut inside opposite hex so you don't want to cut this side you want to cut the opposite side so let's go ahead and line that up you can even velcro it because it is velcro uh, to the inside Wanted to. That way it's perfectly lined up. Got that lined up, and what you want to do, <laughs> I cut this part off, that's funny, so I cut it at 34 inches, so you want to cut it at 33 inches in this case, for me. So I could use this tape measure thing again if I wanted to. It's not really necessary though, because I'm really just going to cut it right there and just subtract an inch. Should be a lot easier to cut, yep. So now we're exactly at 34, so I'm just gonna take my measuring tool here, subtract an inch. that, which would be right about there. Now for this part, I would take it off. Sorry, I'm, not, I'm doing a lot of this off camera, I realize that. Um, I would take it off, measure it, your inch. Just take your measuring tool here, take an inch, so you can, it doesn't matter where you put it, really, and just cut that extra inch off. So the inner belt is going to be a little bit shorter than the outer belt by exactly one inch. Which... Starting to cut there. I'm just going to use my little tool here. Yeah. Then your next step is to take your buckle right here. And this this the tool they provide you. What's this little guy for? Oh, that's your innkeeper. Remove buckle screws, insert cut in the battle belt, clamp teeth, and tighten screws. So we're just gonna take this little guy here. So this, if you ever had a core central belt, it looks exactly the same way. It's just you have an extra step because you have two belts. You have an inner belt and an outer belt. So we're gonna remove these. They give you some extra screws in case you lose some, which is nice. Only thing I'm not sure of is where the hex goes. Oh, okay. I see. You're actually not doing 
doing this end here. So you want, you could trim this off, take a lighter. I'm not gonna do it yet, I'll, just for the sake of the video. Um, so we're gonna push this over here. Like so. And then we're gonna clamp this down, same way all the other core bunches work. There's always a little bit of play, a little give there. And we're just gonna tighten these screws back down. This is actually kind of hard to do on camera just because of the belt being so long and rigid that it doesn't want to just stay on the table. So this is pretty self-explanatory stuff anyway, but you know what I would also recommend doing? Putting a little bit of blue Loctite on those screws. I've had them work out on me before, so just an FYI, which I will do off camera in a second. Yep, you just put these on like so, tighten them down. There we go. Okay, so that's nice and snug. So you got your belt. You're gonna put that aside, or your inner belt. Based on the instructions, it says to trim or shear fibers uh, at cut tip of inner belt, then clamp metal clip over tip. So there's this little clip that comes in the box. And you're just going to take this and put it right over the top of that, like so. But that stays. You can see that coming loose. All right, so there's your inner belt. So all the instructions are included on the tape measure, which is really cool. And then you're going to take your inner belt. So your inner belt is a Velcro, so you're just going to put that inside your waistband, wherever it's comfortable, in your belt loops, and then this is going to Velcro, like most belts, to the outside of that, and then your adjustment's going to be, once you get it clipped in inside and Velcroed in, you're going to adjust it here, and this is where this is a game changer, is most belts are just going to be Velcro, and you have a little bit of Velcro adjustment. This is going to give you... Um, micro adjustments because you have all these little clicks the inner track there that you can do adjustments you can really snug it up or you can really loosen it if you want to just get it to be a really nice good fit that's why this belt is pretty revolutionary um, so again how this works is this goes inside you'll have this through your belt loops and then you'll just velcro this on the outside so I'll demonstrate it here in a sec That was clean, 438. So it's getting faster as I go. I'm not setting any records here, but I like this drill. I'm going to keep running it. I'm going to tripod up here. It's my last round here. That was my second one. This is my last one. It was faster here, 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 here. Let's see. Did I do enough shots? Yeah, six. Oh, it's hard to keep track of it. Oh, that one right there. They're all in. Um, <laughs> they're all in. Uh, 438. So, not the best. Naturally, I don't care. I got it. I got it. You know what? Let me uh, play with this thing first.